Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is December 5th, 2017, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, we've got just three events, not major events. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that, but they are important to know about in case there is some sort of surprise. So we have at 1230 South African time, services PMI number coming out of United Kingdom that surely can affect the GBP. And then at 430 South African time, trade balance coming out of Canada. And then at 6 p.m., ISM non-manufacturing PMI number coming out of the United States. Now, again, these are not major numbers, but they are numbers if there are any surprises that could move and shake the market. So nothing should be as a surprise to us. Things are, you know, moving in a decent direction economically around the world. Um, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But, you know, the major news of the week is going to be the non-farm payroll, which will be coming out this Friday. So that, you know, in the light of that, the markets may still be relatively quiet until that actually happens. But so let's take a look. So looking here at the Euro USD, lackluster of some sort of volatility for a Monday. Okay, we've really been in a very tight range. I mean, even if I look at a one hour chart, I mean, at most we've been, you know, in a 30 pip range for one day. Okay, which is really, you know, relatively very, very tight for the Euro USD. Okay, we've had this multiple ranges that we're developing here uh, and we're right smack here in the middle between this 118.56 level and 118.80 ish level so we've been in a very tight range so i don't expect any sort of impetus until maybe draghi will be speaking on thursday or the non-farm payroll so just you know if you have you're already in a position in new euro usd and you're up on it i would actually look to you know close it um, as the news will develop into the last NFP of the year. Okay, relatively, we're expecting a positive number, okay, especially in going into the holiday season, uh, jobs will be created. We're looking here at the Euro USD and also directionless, okay, to tell you the truth, even though it's sold off a little bit here, but this is not major, major moves, okay, and we're, you know, after, you know, correctional move that we've had, let's look at the four hour chart, we've had a nice rally up you know trading within this range okay and trading you know without rhyme or reason is you know just it's it's just lack of volatility that's all it's showing us okay it's not you know directional move in either direction right here it's just consolidating uh so i would wait as the markets actually resolve themselves in terms of the economic news as you know the news unfolds looking at the usd czar getting a little bit stronger versus the dollar here the dollar has been sliding okay that then against the secondary uh currencies okay and you see that right here at 1346 we broke this 1363 earlier in the week so that is actually uh, something to look at okay still very choppy trading okay and who's to say that it won't bounce really sharply today to cover this but you know we are directionally uh you know receding here uh, and making back some ground so i'd look for a possible head and shoulders here okay this would be the head this would be one shoulder so we may anticipate a little bit of a bounce and de and develop a second shoulder so let's look at that as well looking at gold gold has been really you know lackluster okay 1275 uh bouncing a few points from yesterday but again we're at the bottom of this range here okay so maybe a good potential to actually enter it in the long uh, but just remember to keep a tight stop loss uh, in in the case that we break this 1270 level okay i don't i don't presume that we will um, but gold has been trading really in this you know range okay i won't say it's a tight range between 1270 and 1293 just to backtrack and looking at the aussie usd we've developed a nice neckline okay at this 75 we had this uh, decent retracement from 80 to 75 and now we've you know looking like we're consolidating here we bounced okay we retraced made a double bottom and now we're challenging this previous resistance level <clears throat> excuse me previous support level as we continue uh, above the 30-day average okay so this may actually turn itself into a nice little rally maybe making some some uh, some real estate back from this 77, 77, and three, three-ish level. Uh, so keep an eye on this as this develops later in the week. Looking at the USD CAD, okay, now this is actually kind of interesting because we've, you know, made a nice neckline here, okay? <clears throat> Not to say that this is a massive support level of 26, 
but you see that we've been trading also within this range of 28 and 26 ish level and we're right here at a uh, threshold so let's see with the news coming out if that's going to make any sort of impetus maybe we'll get a nice small bounce later today with the trade balance coming out at 4:30. so let's take a look at that now looking at the dow dow had a massive open yesterday over 200 points new all-time record highs okay i sound like a uh, broken record because i keep on saying this at 24,500 we close the gap or we're closing the gap right here at 24,366 now we may make this back as the week unfolds okay so look for opportunities to jump into it okay the banks are very strong the fundamentals are very strong in the United States so you know there's no reason we can't go into the year with all-time highs okay generally like I've mentioned going into the Christmas season we're only about 20 days away um, we rally into the end of the year okay so that's something to keep an eye out uh, beginning in January we generally okay not always um, it's not a it's not a rule that's etched in stone obviously but historically we've generally sold off going into January so um, keep an eye on this as this you know will you know continue its rally up okay it's beautiful rally up if you missed it it's all good you'll have money opportunities to catch it again looking at the DAX here however we've been really in a choppy market we we gapped up as well yesterday looked like we were going to go higher and we just you know flatlined at 13,080 ish level and now we're just trading in this range I don't love this graph okay this is this actually makes me a little bit uncomfortable because I'd like to see it continue a trend okay as opposed to trading within this you know range of between 13,185 and 12,815 now um, we haven't really broken up above this 1370 1380 level so I'm a little queasy about it we're just we're, we're gapping up a little bit here at 1365 but I'd like to see this continue and, and break it higher okay we, we've we haven't you know look at that okay th this is what I'm talking about I mean where the Dow Jones is making new highs this is just trading within the range so clearly there's a little bit of weakness here okay even though we're very close to our all-time highs there's a little bit of weakness and you know every time it goes higher it doesn't really break out and then it just chops and you know falls apart so in the event that there will be a sell-off in the market this would be my go-to in terms of sell-off to short okay uh, because it's it's not showing any sort of uh, tremendous strength this is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you